amigos. Thanks for coming over again. It's always a joy when you guys stop by. Look, uh, as you guys saw in the last video, I was I tore apart the top end to the iron head. And right now, I'm waiting on parts. So I'm kind of at a standstill with that. So what I'm going to do while that is going on, until I get parts, that um, I figured that I'd go ahead and start messing with this thing. As you guys saw in the video where I addressed the brake issue on the tramp and put on new pipes, I also say that this motorcycle here has a rear brake issue. Unlike the tramp where the tramp's brake did not want to grab, well this brake here does not want to let go when I push on it. So I'm going to try and figure out where the problem lies, whether it be in the caliper or the master cylinder or the brake line. Now I already have a rear caliper rebuild kit that I bought in case that's the problem but however I may not need it I'm not sure exactly where the problem lies so why not find out together maybe we can both learn something so let's see what's going on okay what I have here is what's on most Harley Davidson's is what they call free floating brake calipers the fault either lies in here or somewhere in these brake lines or up here at this master cylinder so what my theory is is that uh, if I open this bleeder valve right here uh, if there's any pressure in the line right now, there should be some brake fluid that will pop out of here, right? Okay, but if it's because the piston is stuck, that would mean that perhaps there's no pressure in the line, it's just that the piston is stuck inside the cylinder in the caliper, and it won't come back. So if I open the bleeder valve and no fluid shoots out, I will know that it's not up here, but rather inside the caliper. So that's my theory. No one taught me that, but that's what's logical to me. I'm going to push on that brake pedal and then we'll see what happens there. the bleeder valve as you guys can see no pressure came out of there but this wheel still doesn't want to move so that means there's absolutely no pressure right now in these lines between that master cylinder and those lines but this wheel will not move okay so that tells me that the piston inside this caliper just does not want to come back for whatever reason so uh, we're gonna get this caliper off and we're gonna see what we can find now we might have to rebuild this caliper, we may not, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. But, before I go tearing things apart, one of the things I like to do, as I freely confess more than once on this channel that I don't know everything, I'm going to call up my good buddy Mark Gillis, who happens to work at Scooters, the bike shop that I take you guys to every once in a while. That's him right there, he's the main mechanic. This guy has been around before catalogs, before JP Cycles, before eBay, before, you know, before this kind of thing was even cool. So, I'm going to call him up real quick and I'm going to ask his opinion what I just told you guys and see what he says. Please enjoy this Verizon ring back tone while your party is reached. Hey, Robert. Hey, Mark, what's happening, man? We got a second. I want to I want to ask you an opinion. You can tell me if I'm off my rocker or not. Here's my problem. On this soft tail, my rear brake won't let go, okay? So, in, in order to diagnose the problem, whether it be in the brake caliper or the brake line or in the master cylinder, I would think that since the wheel won't move and I, un and I open that bleeder valve and no, no fluid comes out, that tells me that there's no pressure in the line, which tells me that the, apparently it sounds like that the problem is in the caliper itself. What do you think? Start at the source. Take the line off the master. I'll give that a shot then. Okay. Alright, appreciate it. You're welcome. Alright, thanks a lot. Alright. I'm going to do like the uh, Mr. Miyagi of motorcycles has said. I'm going to try what he said. I'm going to pull the line off the master cylinder. 
I'm going to put my thumb over the hole of the master cylinder, pump the brake, I should feel some pressure, and then take my uh, finger off, I should feel the air, you know, escape. Okay, and then after that, put the line back on, if it's okay, then I'll put the line back on, pull the line off of the caliper, do the same things, if the same thing happens, then I'll know that there's nothing wrong with the line or the master cylinder, but the problem lies in the caliper itself. So, haven't really done it that way before, so one way or another, something's coming apart, so let's get to it. Well, I don't know if you guys saw that, but looks like the master cylinder is okay. I put my finger over the hole of the master cylinder, just like Mark said, and I pushed on the brake pedal, and I had plenty of pressure that came out, and I let off the brake pedal, and it was sucking my finger right into it, so that tells me that the master cylinder is okay. So, next order of business, I'm going to undo this brake line right here at the caliper, do the same thing like he said, push on the brake pedal if I get the same result as I did over here I know it's not in the brake line and it's gonna be this but that's the last of the suspects so let's check this out and see what we got okay I don't know if you saw that, but I'll find out when I look at this footage. If you saw me take that brake line loose off of that caliper, and I pushed on that brake pedal up there, had my fingers over the holes of, the, of this banjo bolt, and immediately fluid came out, and I let off the pedal, and it had suction going in. So, now we know. It's this brake caliper is the culprit. Let's see if this wheel has let go. The wheel will still not move. So, it's that brake caliper. So I'm just trying to get this thing off and see what can be done. Okay, well that was a little bit of a booger to get those brake pads out of there. As you saw, I got the caliper off with little to no effort. But, if you look at these pads, there's not much left on them. I mean, look at that. These things are pretty hard to get out. I mean, they go up inside the bracket, and I'll show you how it's supposed to look. Okay, they fit up inside of this thing. And I'll just try to give you a visual idea. They go up in here like that. And the other one goes on the other side the same way. But what's missing out of there right now are these clips. One sits right there and the other one sits up top like so. But anyway. Now look at this brake pad. This one was on the back side, on the wheel side. And if you look at the material, it's uneven. It's worn uneven. I mean, look at this side. I mean, it's very uneven. So that tells me that it, if this is uneven like that, well, the more flatter side of the pad is going to be flat against the disc. And if you look, it would cause this thing to sit cockeyed a little bit like that, which would cause it also to grab on that little so-called so way or track or whatever. So no doubt this thing here was not retracting back like it was supposed to. It was pretty much staying locked in place. Definitely in order for a new set of brake pads. But right now, it's Sunday afternoon. No motorcycle shop is open at this hour or even today at all, and much less not even tomorrow. So I have to wait till Tuesday. And just like that, it's Tuesday. I just got off work and I'm on my way to Scooters. Even though I get off at five o'clock and Kenny closes at five o'clock, he 
he said that he'll just go ahead and leave the brake pads and the grill out in front of the shop and I can just square back up with him on Friday so let's see if he actually remembered to do that let's see if they're actually there now we're in business All right, now that we got what we need, a healthy set of brake pads, let's put it back together. that's taken care of nine times out of ten I'm usually wrong about what I think the problem is you know I thought it was the brake caliper that I was gonna have to rebuild that thing but apparently it was something simple like brake pads never had something like that happen before but hey I guess you never stop learning but that was fun but anyway I thank you guys for hanging out with me it's always a joy when you come by and if you like what you've seen feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit subscribe for more videos coming up and don't forget to hit that bell icon for more notifications about what's coming up. And also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And also too, I shared in my community not too long ago that I opened up a Patreon. Some of you guys in the past have asked me if I had a Patreon. Anyway, I never gave it much thought until recently. And this isn't about me. It's about you guys. It's the only way I can think of how to let you guys be a part of this channel, you know, to be a part of the content that's happening, you know, and helping to make better quality stuff and like that. Now, I'm not saying that I need this. It's not about me. Again, it's about you guys. So uh, anybody who comes on board on the Patreon will have early access to the latest content before it gets posted on this channel. So that's the French benefit of that. So I'm going to leave a link of the Patreon down below if anybody wants to visit the page and contribute. If not, that is totally, totally okay. After all, this stuff's all free anyway. So anyway, I thank you guys for coming out and you keep the rubber side down and you be good to yourselves. And thanks a lot. <laughs>